Yes guys, we're back once again with another video and in this video we're navigating the old school jungle techniques and software available in 2024 and we're talking about Tal Sampler in particular alongside Renoise. Now there's been a lot of hype about Tal Sampler recently, I've been hearing a lot of stuff about algorithms and making itself mimic a lot of old school samplers which is what this sampler is all about so i'm going to have a kind of a first time build a jungle tune from start to finish series using tau sampler and actually see how far i can actually get so guys just an introduction to tau software now I've been looking at them closely for some time now and this is not a sponsored video by the way. Tao, if you're watching, there, I wouldn't mind some demos of this stuff here. It'd be nice to showcase and see what it can do. But just giving you a run through, they got the Alpha Juno, they got the Jupiter Juno 60, SH-101 emulation, wow man, I like this uh, SH-101, it's a cool sounds in the actual original. Uh, you got Tao Drum which does some real dope shit. And I've seen a couple videos online where they're just doing some mad stuff. Obviously, today's about the Tau Sampler. You've got Tau Mod, Tau Dub X, Tau DAC, and Analog Bundle, Sampler Bundle. Tau Sampler also comes with its own libraries as well, which is pretty cool. So let's just click on Tau Sampler for a second. And as you can see here, you've got these Hollow Sun presets, Hollow Sun library info and tau sampler does a factory presets as well 60 dollars plus that which is pretty reasonable for a plugin nowadays i've seen plugins going for all sorts of money so let's just have a quick little deep dive to see some of these features you got vintage dac modes emu am6070 s1000 sample hold linear clean so all this is about mimicking vintage outboard hardware yeah steep 96 decibel low pass reconstruction filter emu and am 6070 f variable sample rate powerful mod matrix now i've seen the mod matrix in action you can do some cool shit with that where you have everything just moving about in real time four sample layers three ahd sr envelopes with vintage digital rc mode three LFOs, triangle, saw, rectangle, random, noise, high quality, reverb, EQ, delay. More than 100 presets available as download on the right. So this is some cool shit guys. I would definitely recommend checking this out. They put a preset list. Look at all these sound sets you can download. World of stuff, they got a demo on the website worth checking out tons of other artists or whatever big up some reviews there as well hopefully they'll put my review on there old download and change log so that's that let's dive into tau sampler okay people so i'm just going to be preparing some sounds to put them into tau sampler i've got some sounds i'm just picking from my library uh got a couple little samples here no respect no respect yeah. Let's get a couple more. So I got like a dread bass. Amen. Let me get like a little think break or something. So let's see what I've got here. Just want to get that kind of like typical jungle sound, you know. Let's see what we got here. I'm gonna try timing them all up as well, so it's pretty much smooth sailing. So let's see what we could do. We're gonna have to try and tighten them up a bit. Let's see. Brakes now. So I've got Chris Think here, homemade. Not that one. Uh, let's see what else we've got. Think Crisp. That's more like a softer one. Yeah, that'll do. So I only want up to there, I guess. Let me see. Actually, that's a nice little one. Let me get that, that piece there. And I'm just going to tighten it all at one time, man. Because, you know, I'm used to using the Renoise samplers. So I want to make sure it's all smooth sailing, right? Okay, so that'll do. So let's set the BPM up here now to 168. Let's see what we got. 
168 we're going to test this out 168 drop this in here loop it over okay so let's try and speed that up a little bit Okay, so that's that, right? So we just want to just, we're kind of cheating a bit here, but I don't business right now, yeah? So let's just time that up. We're just utilizing the tools we have, yeah? Okay, so let's do that. It's not perfect, but I think that'll do for the purpose of our experiment. So render to sample. So this is going to be the thing that we're bringing out, yeah? So we're going to export that, save it to our little towel sampler library. So we've got here towel sampler sound library, think break. 168. Just chuck that in there. And then let's get our little sample. No respect every time. No respect every time. We've got a nice, nice little now respect every time. So let's get that Vox now respect. Right. So I'm going to keep these videos fairly short and sweet, guys, so that uh, there's not mad power using on using on the computer. Dread base. We've got a name in here. Right, let's time that up as well to 168 real quick. Wow, what the hell is that? It must have a big gap at the start or something, the way that came in. Okay, it's very slow. So let's speed that up. I think that should do it. Let's, let's have a listen. Too fast. Fix that start point a bit. Yeah, it kind of sounds alright. Okay, so let's see. We'll loop that over just for the purpose of what we're doing. Get us roughly there. Let me just see something. Alright, so yeah, so it's literally just one loop, right? So we're going to do that now. This is our Amen 168. Right, we've got some nice other sounds in Tau Sampler as well, built-in library. Uh, there's a built-in library that you download on their website. I'll put a link or description or in the description for you guys. Right, so, got all those samples there, yeah. I'm going to get them into Tau Sampler now and uh, see what we've got. So, get the plug in. As you can see on this computer, I've only got Tau Sampler in there at the moment. So this is the towel sampler. Now in theory, you're supposed to go to your kits. You set your sound, your, your towel sampler location up and all that. I'm not going to go into that right now, but you could literally just go into your sound library, which I believe. Okay, yeah. So here it is. So literally, click here. Towel sampler. Right. So I've got my sounds here. So here's where we are. So we got here so far now i'm no expert on this towel sampler right so bear with me so you get your layer as far as i know 
and then what we'll do is we'll drag our first sample in there which is our dread bass uh, I just want to set that up on there because I just want to do a track just for the sake of Tao sampler building I'm going to copy and paste that into there yeah that's the beauty of having all these tools at your disposal nowadays you're not arm wrestling with every single you know setup here right so let's have a look so we got that uh, let's get our little vocal now this does layers so I'm gonna just probably get the Amen 168 stick that in towel sampler 2 right this sounds like the dread so we, I've all obviously copied that instrument there so now I'm gonna chuck the vocal no sample. respect no respect no respect, no respect every time and then no clean it up here so respect double, every double, time. double click that every time there's a little bit of a click there every time well you can actually click on the area of the sample look respect every time so we've got every time we've got that little click there so what we want to do is go to there I believe and just chop that off and, 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 and. and then let's maybe try a little loop somewhere along the line here so switch that on bring your loop up chuck that over there loop start point loop end point let's see how that sounds no respect every time no respect every time now on the loop here i believe there's some sort of crossfade no respect every time pretty cool isn't it so let's find that crossfade section on the old uh loop now all right so check this out i just found a little cool thing here check this you've got the old ping pong loop no respect if you turn that on, it the loop alternates backwards and forwards here. Look. No respect every time. Now that loop sounds alright. I'm not going to mess with the loop crossfade now. I've decided to move on from there. Right. So that one's done for now. But before we do that, let's see if we can give give it that classic jungle time stretch. So we hit the back button. I find navigating on this sampler is something you've got to get used to, to be honest. Right. So now here's where all the magic happens. You turn this stretch on, right? You got the Intel and you got the side click, yeah. Side click is classic Akai. And now, what you do is you just mess with the pitch or the stretch. Yeah, look. No respect every time. No respect. No respect. And if you change this up. No respect. This is like your normal PC time stretch. No respect every time. And then you've got your side click. No respect. Which sounds all right. No respect every time. It's not quite the classic though. No respect every time. Maybe if you stretch it out to pitch it up. No respect every time. But we. No but now what we need, we need that stretch. No respect. No respect. That's all right. No respect every time. Bit faster. No, re no respect. Yeah, that sounds pretty smashed, man. I kind of like that. I'm happy with that. So let's copy that again and let's get the beats in there as well. Now, I've seen some other cool things on Tau Sampler, yeah? And they do a lot of stuff like Tau drums and there's some other bits and pieces. Guys, comment down below if you've used any of the other Tau Sampler plugins because they're pretty dope, yeah? Um, and i got to big them up, you know. Like I say, uh, to me, then the sound is not as authentic as the S1000. But, man, you could do some cool shit in here, man. And it's definitely worth a look. And, you know, we're in the 20th century now. So why not embrace the tools that we've got? Best of both worlds. You want to use Ableton. You use Ableton. You want to use freaking Renos. Use Renos. Whatever suits you. Whichever DAO suits you. And, you know... I've got my Akai's from my sound processing as well because there's nothing like an Akai time stretch. And uh, I'll play a couple samples, uh, you know, at the end of this video just to give you a quick comparison. But yeah, um, on to the next sample now. So let's jump in, keep stick to the point now, don't waffle too much. Um, let's see what we got here. So let us. Let us do this samples. And go to do, 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 do. let's get the let's get the um the the aiming up at one six eight. Look at that. Do 
See, one thing that's pretty cool about this, right, in comparison to, say, uh, an S1000, because you do have different filters and stuff in here, yeah? But what, one thing I'd say comparison, in comparison uh, with this is that you can time stretch in real time. Now, that's not really something that you can do exactly on a regular sampler. And you've also got your, your different um, algorithms here, which is supposed to make it sound a little bit more like the real deal. Right. All right, so that's not bad, right? So let me just keep that. I'll keep that time stretch and come back to it. Let's copy this, bring it down, paste here again. I love the way you can just copy and paste the VST instruments here, man. It's just like next level. Uh, right, so we just go here. And now let's get the same one, but let's turn the time stretch off for a minute. And let's focus on the beats. Now, obviously, we've done this at 168 for own convenience. Now, let's try zooming in and see what we've got here. So let's see if we're running over time, guys. See what the time frame is. With 13 minutes in this video already, man, I want to go in a little bit more, and uh, yeah, maybe keep it short and sweet. Let me have a go at time timing this up now. So I'm going to pop this in because I want to make a pure towel sampler beat, man. That's that is my intention here. I know there's more than one way to skin a cat, yeah? I can, yeah, you can chop it up and whatnot, have you? But this is, I'm still kind of working. I want to work on the old school way for a time being. <laughs> right, we're going to go with that, right? So now let's try and understand this whole slicing thing on the this sampler so let's just go move that key map down right and put that to here okay so the next key doesn't have anything so now what do we do do we copy the map in yeah copy the map into there and then we should have that on that key right and then we chop to here Oh, that's quite straightforward. Okay, we'll go with that. Zoom in a bit. Let's have a little uh, bit there. So that one, we're going to bring it like that. Now, I don't know if there's a slicing feature. I saw, I, I swear I saw a slice here. Let me go back to that. Look, there's a slice feature. I wonder if that just slices it one time. Right, but this is how I would do it if it, there wasn't a slice, right? So I need, now need to copy mapping again, right? Move it to the next one and then move on to the next bit. All right, I'm going to try another one. Old school style, old school, st old school style there. Right, let's copy that next map in there again. And then we got the next key up. It's a bit long, it's a bit long compared to the usual renoise. Uh, if this can recognize Rex files, that would be pretty dope. I wonder if it can. Comment down below, guys, if you, if you know if this can accept Rex files. Nice little chop there. Reminds me of all the remark tunes. You know, like drum and bass wise. That kind of thing. Copy that. Yeah, next one. Big up remark. Right, let's do this here. Pop that there. In fact, you know what? I'm going to do two. I'm going to do this here as well. Get a little shuffle. That come in handy. Copy mapping onto the next one. There is a there is a potential workflow here. Definitely a potential workflow. Copy mapping again. Chop that back. And this will apply to any DAO that you're working with towel sampler in here. Just because I'm using Renoise, it's going to be the same screen regardless, right? 
So, guys, comment down below. Let me know what DAO you use this in and how it works for you. And the, the lucky comment, man. I'll send them a bunch of samples. How about that? Uh, let's see. Copy mapping again. That's nice. Copy mapping again. I like cop cut cutting on this. It's not bad. Right. Right, that last map. I don't know that double thing. So I think what you should do go. And then this one. Let's do it like this. Oh. Yeah, that's quite nice. Zoom in a bit. Right, so that's that aim and cut up, right? So now, do we, how do we save on this thing? What's this? I guess this is it, yeah? T save as start up. Oh, okay. I don't want to save that as start up. This sampler also has sounds on it as well. You could put library. It's got some synth library. I believe that you load sound font. So you get your sound favorite sound font library, put it in there as well. So that's also a good thing for a uh, towel sampler. Right. So let's go back. Let's um, see what else we've got here. Right, I'm going to run to uh, 20 minutes on this video because I, I feel it's getting quite long. Um, let's go to the next sample now. So, so far we've done... I know you've got layers on here. Now, I'm not really familiar with the whole layer thing. I don't know if you could use them on all in the same uh, MIDI channel. This would be great to see something like this multi-timbral, you know, like... Um, Sonic or whatever it's called hypersonic and all that kind of stuff on the VSTs right next one is gonna be the think so let's get the think in there let's load that in now let's just make sure he's looping okay look at what we've done here what look at this mess man let's get rid of that uh, cut and uh, let's chuck that in there and see how he loops over Sounding pretty neat, right? So let's just give that a little quick chop up as well, a little a little towel chop up, you know what I mean? Oh look. It's chopped up the beat differently. Right, so I think that we're gonna have to delete all this mapping out. Yeah, so delete mapping there. Yep, yeah, good. So we got that. We've mapped that to that key. Then we're going to do the same thing again. Copy mapping right. So I'm going to do the same with this break. And I'm going to pause the video. Because I don't want to bore you guys to death here. Okay folks that's done. So we got. Hold on. Okay so let's jump in and see what we got here now. So let's start building our little beat now. So let's see what we got. So we're going to get this. We're going to put that up in there. that little shuffly bit hmm I don't like the sound of that right let me just keep it simple I'll go with that. 
Alright, so we've got the aim in. Alright, that needs to be chopped back a bit. Otherwise it's gonna bleed over, it sound weird. Yeah, we've already sorted that. Okay, lovely. So we got Right, so what we'll do, let's just kind of like, yeah, so we'll do a little, hmm, sounds a bit loose, isn't it? That's better. Little shuffle. Right, let me see what's going on with that snare. It sounds a bit short. That F sharp. C, D, E, F. Let me see. Yeah, that's better. Alright, let's have a quick save. Tau sampler. Twenty four minutes in Tau sampler. Alright, let's get the beats out of the way. Let's chuck chuck them over. Let's keep it rolled and nice for now. We're not going to go too mental just yet. <laughs> uh, that why does that look weird? Let's see. Hello, all right. All right, so we got that right. So let's see what else we can do with the drums in Tal Sampler. Right. Uh, let's see what we got here. So first drum. We've got that Amen here. Might as well rename that now. Amen Tau. Yeah, big up Amen Tau. How you doing? Find your name there. Look at that. And then we had the Think here. Uh, let's see. Think. All right, so now let's let's mute off and see what we got. So what happens if we turn on the time stretch now? Okay, that didn't go too well. Oh. <laughs> okay, that's pretty cool. So, yeah, it will only time stretch one part. All right, we kind of gathered that anyway. So let's just turn that off for a minute. Now, oh, what have I done now? I've opened up a can of worms now. There you go. Oh, I just want to see what else we could do. So let's see filters. Ah, the bleeding hell you turn that on now. Ooh. All right. So we'll try automating that at the end now, right? So we'll do a little automation on that. So can we do that? Is that parameter, um, you know, thingy bubble, thingy bubble? <laughs> you know what I mean? Automatable. Right, so let's see. So let's get to here. And what have we got? Uh, okay, I'm not seeing Tau Sampler in here. 
Well, that's kind of dead, isn't it? I wonder if we can put that in a doofer. Shizen. Okay, so that's a bit of a naughty, naughty stepper, isn't it? All right, let's try uh, something else here. Are you sure you can't automate that? Not that you could automate the Akai ones, but still. Programmable 2. No micro-tuning. Uh, wow, okay. Hmm, interesting. I'm going to pause this and have a think. Guys, I just want to say, if you're getting anything out of this content, please smash that like button. Let me know you're enjoying this sort of stuff. If I get a lot of likes on this, I'll do more content like this. Just want to know what type of formats are working, what or not. So help me out with this channel. You'll be helping me out in massive ways. You'll also be spreading the word on you know the YouTube's algorithm and all that stuff. Yeah, so bless. Please smash that like button and subscribe. Big up. Okay, guys, that brings us to the end of this episode. If you want to see more, you know what to do. Take care, God bless, peace out.